Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity from the North American Team Battles played recently, November 17th. As the time I'm casting this, that was not exactly 15 days ago, but pretty close to 15 days ago. Up right in corner, we have Raz starting as the Yellow Protoss, bottom left hand corner. We have Gypsy starting as the Teal Terran. This is on Allegro, which is called as such because of the very close... I guess there was Largo, which was that map a long time ago, which looked somewhat similar to this, but had the very large distances between spawns. This one has very short distances between spawns. And also kind of this interesting ninja star sort of shuriken in the middle for maybe some map control mid-map. I don't know that it ends up being that large a factor. Between these two, I'm definitely going to favor Gypsy. <clears throat> Raz is a solid Protoss player. Has gone pretty... Actually had a good BSL season. I'm trying to think if it was last season, the season before last. Went decently deep but gypsy is an incredible terran player if he's in standard shape he's just got an overwhelming play style his macro just incredibly rapid really good troop movement really fast macro very intelligent player does a lot of studying of builds out of all of the north american players he's gone the furthest the most recently in making it into i think he won third place uh the season before last in bsl i'll have to look this stuff up in the interim to Reminder, interesting location for the barracks. So it looks like this is maybe going to be barracks, an attempt at barracks into command center, and then utilize kind of that gap in between to protect the Marines. Raz oftentimes does open up, and this is very brave on Allegro in particular because it is a closer rush point map. However, it looks like Raz is tacking on that assimilator first rather than going for a two gate opening. Raz is one of those players that will go early zealot. Something I've been seeing in his style recently is trying to attempt more of a mid-game, like, dual shuttle thing, which is, I think, once he gets good at it, it'll actually be pretty solid. Uh, and I'm curious why more Protoss players don't do it, where it's kind of, you keep two shuttles, you try to engage from multiple locations and just be annoying that way while you're macroing a lot of uh, locations, you're just macroing up behind that. Although that's very taxing on the APM and the multitasking. 7x core warping, it looks like it's going to be surprisingly a skip, of the first sell it. SEV making its way top right to get the cross the Caddy Corner Scout. It looks like it is going to be, in fact, Rax into Command Center. No Marines have been produced as of yet. Raz scouting bottom right. I guess part of the risk of it is, is if you get the... This is a longer rush distance at cross map spawn. And it looks like that is... So getting the uh, fortunate spawn here for Gypsy to go ahead and fend off early pressure. First Marine being produced as that probe's making that way. I think the probe should still be able to sneak through initial Dragoon, but I think after spotting this, particularly the quick command center build, I wouldn't be shocked to just see one gateway into expansion. Probe able to sneak across that line. Oh, it doesn't want to... I would expect it to just sacrifice itself and go ahead and s sneak in and get a look at the gas timing, but I guess confident enough and seeing command center knowing that it was a fast expand build. Let's see if it's a pool of resources at this stage. Yeah, just dropping the Nexus. But this is going to put Raz... On the economic back foot, bunker being created on the front. That's definitely a wise play. SCV scooting up, and let's see if this probe... Nope, same deal here. I was wondering the SCV was just going to charge forward. I guess after confirming that natural expansion, just going to go ahead and back up. One gate in robotics facility to follow it up. And again, I'm expecting Raz to maybe go for mid-game robotics facility play. Might even... Let's see if he goes Ops first or if he goes Reaver first. He's been favoring that Reaver play a little bit out of the last three games I've seen him, and this is, like, spread out over the past, I don't know, two months, where I've been able to see him a game or two. It's been, uh... It's been, yeah, that quicker Reaver style. Looks like we do see range being upgraded. SCV making its way back across, and I think it wants to go ahead and check whether it's going to be a quick double expand behind this. First factory in production for Gypsy. Keeping that barracks silent in between and that SCV wow yeah so now the SCV able to go ahead and walk all the way in is going to see first of all a critical lack of dragoons confirm the range sees the robotic facility SCV dies to probe though arguably the most humiliating kill you can suffer I guess not that's like out of it's more humiliating because SCVs and probes die to each other all the time but I'm trying to think of one that would be worse maybe a critter on the map if you died to a map critter That'd be pretty. Anyway, Gypsy has all the info, has a huge amount of information though. Dropped the machine shop. Went ahead and plopped down a starport. So I think recognizing 
that threat might go for a quick wraith and is also producing vultures and mines as well. So yeah, the Dragoon's sitting at home base, a single Dragoon making its way out. Two Vultures can easily dispatch that if they sweep out with a little bit of micro. But I'm curious to see uh, whether this is going to be Wraith to try to negate that quick play. Starport dropped with a control tower. It could be a Wraith or just a shuttle uh, to drop behind this. Engineering Bay plopping down as well. I'm not sure if I... So I like the Wraith play versus the Reaver play, Speed Shuttle being upgraded. I'm not sure I like the dropship play if it's just uh, to try to combat. Ooh. Nice play there. Gypsy recognizing that he's got more troops out on the front. Yeah, now going for the surround with those two vultures. Going to go ahead, get the mines down, bully it away from that front. But dropship is going to be the play here. So dropship to get vultures back at the main. Raz is playing it rather light on troops. And one problem with that is, is, yeah, going for Reaver Drops and Harassment means a lot of these bases could be exposed. Three o'clock base being dropped. And this is, so this is three bases off two Dragoons, a Zealot, and a Reaver. That is a lot of territory to try to defend. So the dropship with the Vultures could get a lot of damage, especially if they just drop a few unit units here and there. It looks like a handful of mines being placed to try to negate the Reaver threat. <clears throat> three Vultures scooped up along with its Fourth, and now, yeah, there's just a lot of lot of territory for Raz to try to defend. Shuttle ma making its way across. And he's got to be very, very careful where he plants this Reaver now. Plus one weapons upgrading for Gypsy, by the way. So the Zealot can go on the low ground, maybe get a Mind Drag. That will soften it up. Siege Tank and Marines, so yeah, dropping right there. Able to get a good shot. Ooh, Mind Drag able to hit that Siege Tank and might get another Mind Drag into troops, getting some SCV disruption, so Raz getting some bonus out of this. And that siege tank is just a tick away, so where... And now the counter drop moving in, so this could be very interesting very, very quickly, because that main mining is gone. Dragoons swarming the dropship, and I'm not sure if I want to say that Raz predicted this or if this was luck, but... So it looks like the Vulture is able to get a few kills in the probe lines, but Raz defending this pretty well. And his Reaver's still alive, sending these SCVs scattering between the main and the natural. So in a probe getting a kill there once again. So speed shuttle there. Siege tank, uh, two fresh siege tanks. Sorry, just now two fresh siege tanks trying to scatter this. But you can see the SCVs have just been trying to move back and forth in between and haven't been mining this entire time. And three bases now up. That third base starting to get saturated. Now the Wraith out there finally picking off that shuttle, but Raz has done a great job to get three bases up and running. He's got additional Dragoons produced, getting another shuttle, and probably he's going to want another Reaver out here as well. So doing is up in the supply count, repelled that Vulture attack extremely well, got a bunch of SCV harassment and damage, and I, yeah, I like it. I like it. Observer now starting to press towards the front. And at the three o'clock, yeah, that's starting to saturate. So decent worker count overall. Few vultures trying to sneak through that wraith, unfortunately. So it was really, really useful earlier. But wow, Raz just going to pile drive in with the dragoons he's got. Picked off the siege tank at the natural. The barracks relanding to create a bit of a blockade. The observer scooping forward. There's a second dropship that was produced. That actually surprises me a little bit. And the Dragoon's now backing off, but got a good amount of harassment done. Raz dropping a Stargate at the natural expansion. So it looks like he wants to go three base into Arbiter, or sorry, into uh, Carrier. And is putting it at an awkward location to try to stay the way from Gypsy's Comsat. Perhaps feeling, and so Gypsy moving towards a third command center. I think that's actually a pretty brilliant play here. Recogn so dove the Dragoon's in to pick off the siege tanks, to keep Gypsy more on the back foot. Gypsy's playing it just with three factories thus far, so he didn't go for a factory flood. I think the Observer is in position to go ahead and spot that. So cleverly, yeah, pocketing that Stargate and grabbing a fourth as well. And I, I like this play. Five factories now for Gypsy. 
behind that command center, plus one weapons, I believe, is already finished. Plus one armor and plus two weapons on the way. And I think Gypsy wants to play a, uh, wants to kind of shell up and go for longer term macro game at this side, uh, at this stage. Upon seeing those dragoons in the front, just going to exit another reaver, making its way forward. We do have decent turret coverage and mine coverage. Let's see if this gets anything done. Like that wraith is still around as well. Surprises me a little bit that this is diving in despite, and but it looks like Gypsy doesn't. Okay, he does have that wraith on hotkey. Some SCVs still die. However, this was kind of a failed attack from the beginning. Still diving into the... Oh, almost got a big scarab kill right there. Mines up to the north. It looks like that probe is still surviving, but able to at least confirm that fourth nexus. Not sure what was with... So that Reaver attack... Not sure I like that. That was kind of just a suicide and waste of resources, but carriers being produced off one gate. One problem here... For Raz, though, is his five factory, just four gate with carrier support with only the single stargate. That's not going to be sufficient to keep up with Gypsy's output. And Gypsy now sneaking up and grabbing that third. So let's see if he drops the second stargate momentarily to fill in that carrier count a little bit more rapidly. He's putting two additional pylons to maybe have more gateway units underneath this. He's getting plus one weapons already. That's another thing if this comp... So there's the additional stargate. So he's got an additional stargate to the north. I don't know if this has been spotted or responded to as of yet by Gypsy. I'm looking, let's see if he's filling in with, uh, yeah, it looks like he's still unaware of that tech switch because I don't see any Goliaths grabbing yet another factory behind this. Vulture's starting to sneak out on the map to do what they can. There are two cannons at that mineral only and a good amount of Dragoons at the forward field. And it looks like the Observer and Dragoons pressing forward to go ahead and clear those mines as soon as they're planted. So Raz, with a quick tech switch, might just completely catch Gypsy off guard and it is going to be a very difficult defense. Gypsy's going to have to more or less toss the entirety of his army at Raz just to buy himself some time to get some anti-air. Plus one, plus one armor, plus two weapons. Just finishing, actually missed the plus two weapons by a half second right there. But I think there's going to be, yeah, plenty of carrier as well. Okay, there's at least two looking for additional out in the field to go ahead and deal with what might have been that timing. Gypsy, thinking better of it, going to go ahead and pull back. He's down 40 supply, but keep in mind a lot of that supply is in carriers that are still in production here. So that one there, that one there. Carriers are expensive Psi units. So they can be a little bit deceptive, especially in these tech switching portions. Gypsy sending out vultures to try to maybe catch some probes at the north, checking the bottom right. Flurry of commsats. I'm not sure if he, I'm wondering if he saw it still. Okay, finally a first Goliath being produced. So now I think he saw it. Got those three Goliaths in production, but now the question is, is too little too late? We'll see. One o'clock base. Some mines blockading right there. The vultures sneaking through before. I think we'll get a handful of kills there before the dragoons are able to respond. The three carriers now making the way out. Now the question and vultures, yeah, camping everywhere out else out there. So four bases up. Four base versus four base. Raz with a huge supply lead. A lot of siege tanks though with plus two weapons. Now the question. Is, is does Gypsy mount enough anti-air defense to get him to the next stages of the match? These are going to be slow zealots because with all of this tech, looks like zealot leg speed was skipped. Observer finally killed in the main. Gypsy grouping up with his army. This somehow looks scarier than, like I look at the supply count and I'm like, okay, 30 supply, 40 supply lead for Raz. Should be fine, right? But it just still looks like a big scary army with all this mech. Staging to the north, he's going to go ahead and try to float out a command center to grab that 9 o'clock location. See how long it lasts as the carriers are moving in. This does look like it's sufficient Goliaths, but, and they do have plus two weapons, keep in mind. But one nice feature of this map is that these carriers can, yeah, use these kind of outcropping windows to engage the troops and lure the rest of the attack force should they try to engage back to the high ground where troops are latent and waiting. Kind of spring a trap here and there. But right now, if Gypsy can hold on to these four bases and Raz isn't, if Raz isn't able to get anything done with these carriers, Raz is going to end up falling behind over the long term economically. He's near 200 supply right now, so needs to get something done either in taking additional bases or in punishing Gypsy. Gypsy with a huge upgrade advantage however and keep in mind these are going to be these don't have protection of arbiter for any sort of misfire 
as of yet, but... So Raz in a good theoretical position, but it's going to come down to execution and these Dragoons getting absolutely crushed as they're out of position. And just, yeah, see, I look at this army and I'm like, it just doesn't seem... And I know the supply counts read as such, but it just feels like Gypsy is still in a great position just looking at the army that's on the ground. Carrier is going to try to swing around to the south to go ahead and disrupt the turrets and maybe wipe out something there. Some probes sneaking out to maybe grab something top left. Just hope the vulture doesn't sneak through and do what it can. The Goliaths cycling down piecemeal, having some trouble with their AI and engaging, but Raz going to retreat. And while that's happening, saying, okay, the carriers aren't there to protect the main bulk of your attack force in the center of the map, I'm just going to claim the middle. That's going to make it much more difficult for you to maneuver these carriers around. Supply counts are now even. Raz still hasn't grabbed additional base, has lost a carrier to the south, and Gypsy looks like he's just going to dive and press in with the upgrade advantage. Another carrier down. So despite, yeah, on paper looking in a good position, Gypsy still able to respond in kind and look like potentially close out the game here because this handful of Dragoons, this amount of carriers versus all this mech, and honestly, with the Goliaths at level 3 weapons now, they're making short work of those carriers. So this mineral only going to be gone. Gypsy sitting on four bases, actually grabbing a fifth base at the 6 o'clock location. Raz going to call GG right there. So Raz putting himself in a good position, but Gypsy just able to show some amazing execution and clear it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.